good YouTube and everybody. Thanks for stopping by and visiting the channel. And we love to see you guys at all times because if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. So let's talk about Warhammer's Ultramarine. We're gonna go over the articulation, go over the accessories, look at the figure up close, and also do the articulation. At the end of the video, we'll have those photos showing them in all poses with all of his accessories. But right now, we're gonna roll him off the stand and we're gonna give this guy a measure to see where he sits. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. There he is, standing as tall as he can. Okay, let's break out the stick here. We got it. We're gonna go ahead and do it on the inch size first. And if you look at it there, it looks like he's right under eight inches. And if we flip it over to the centimeter side, he should be right under 20 centimeters that's where he's at that's where he's standing and that's what we're working with today okay let's go ahead and look at his accessories he doesn't have many i wish that he did because this figure is awesome so let's look at the first one here we go looks like what his jetpack where he flies with it's pretty it's pretty good i see that nice detail you got your flaps here I guess for changing the, you know, the course of direction when he flies, that's nice. Nice addition to that. There you go, up close. And it sticks in his back by the square right here. That's where it sticks on. And he flies. That is his jetpack. Okay, there you go, close, good close look. There you go. Nice, nice. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad, you know. If it was like Joy Toy or something, you would see a lot of a lot more detail, because Joy Toy focuses so much on battle damage and whatnot. They do a phenomenal job. Shout, shout out to Joy Toy. But that's it on this one. Then he has his gun. Pretty nice. Not a bad job on that. You got your silver paint there. You know, you got your buttons there, safety and whatnot. Pretty cool. Handles look good. Nice. Not seeing too bad of a paint job on this. You know, especially with the silver not bleeding everywhere. I like that. That's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure he likes that too. <laughs> All right. Handle looks nice. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So the gun got the railing. All right. Not bad on the gun. Nice. Okay. And that's going to do it on his accessories. So now we're going to go ahead and step into the up close view of them. Let's go ahead and look at that. Go ahead and grab them. All right. So the figure itself, I, I don't know too much about the games, but when I saw the board games and whatnot, I thought it looked very awesome. And then I started seeing uh, trailers on YouTube, like movies. I was like, wow, they put a lot of detail in this. So let's go ahead. Look at the head now. Not too shab. A little bit of silver paint there by the ear. This is just some hard plastic. Could have did, could have did a little bit better on the job right here. As you can see, it's got some bulkiness and just some flat paint over it. Yeah, could have did a little better. Uh, his ear muff here, the, I guess the side of his ears here. Kind of, kind of a bad job, but it's all right. It'll work. Face looks okay. You got his mouth there. Eyes, not too much run-off paint. Not bad. Not bad. On the back here, that's where that where it connects for his fly gear. Yep. Not too shabby. But that head part, that's that could have been done a lot better. Okay, let's go over to a shoulder. Nice. Got that logo. Got that got a little damage there. I don't know if I damaged that or it came like that, but it works because he needs a little damage on the armor. Okay, this side, got his other shoulder. His little mark. Okay, that's correct. Looking good. Okay. And his chest, let's look at his chest here. With this. This is good. I don't know what they used. Uh, well, yeah, these are some hard plastic. And just, I guess, glued it on. And it works. Same with, with these grenades here. And it works very well. I, I do like that addition. Okay, and the inside looks like... Just some hard plastic, but it looks like he, he moves around very well. And we'll get into that in the articulation. We'll see how well he does move with that. But so far, appearance-wise, looking good. Arms are fine. 
Nothing in very interesting. You got the plastic. There you go. Hands are okay. Kind of normal. Got some grooves in there like he's wearing some armored gloves. Not bad. There you go. Another hand there, right? Okay. Then you got his belt here. I guess that's his belt. No big diaper. Small sumo wrestler diaper he has on. <laughs> yeah, he's got a small sumo wrestler diaper, which is good because those big diapers are hilarious when they when they overdo it. And you know what it is. I mean, it makes me laugh every time I see it. Like, wow, they really made it like that. Okay, so he has some extra clip holdings. That stuff looks really good. It's hard, real hard. But that's some good detail if you look at that. Not bad on that, huh? Just hard, nothing opens, nothing moves. Especially around the legs here, it's all molded on. But it looks good. Yeah, I like that. Got his little knee pads here. Hard plastic, hard plastic. Just some white paint over that same plastic. So that's nothing too crazy, but looks good. Got the boots here. Same plastic, same paint. The paint is okay on the tips of the feet. If you look at the tips of the feet, he has... Get this lighting going. He has a lot of, a lot of the, the paints. It's kind of, you know, looks it looks like it's been put on pretty quickly. It looks like it was rushed at the bottom there, but it's okay. It'll do. It'll work. Right? Okay. So that's sitting on the appearance. You got the back legs here. Same material with that armor. Nothing too crazy. And we're at the end of that. So the appearance wise, guys, let me know what you think about them appearance wise out of a one to five stars. All right, let's go ahead and check out that articulation. Okay, let's step into that articulation. All right, guys, man. Like I said, looking good all around. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with his back, you know, his um, his fly gear here. You got the movement, which is pretty nice. Got a little play there. Nothing really crazy going up and down. So that, that's pretty nice. That's the only thing that moves on the jet, on the jet pack. So you got that there. Look at that. And they can look like he's flying real nice. Pretty cool. All right. So next we'll go with the head. The head moves all the way around. As you can see. Not bad on the head. All the way around the head. So I'm thinking the ups. The ups are pretty good because some, some way it's got this bowl here. And that's what it's connected on. So you can move it in. See it's got that in on his face. I really do like that. Then you can take up. You can pull it out. And have, have them looking up. Not bad. And side to side as well. Sides are good. Yep. Look at that side there. Not too shabby. I like that. Like this. I like that a lot. All right. So let's go to the arms here. You got these pads. They they, they move around pretty good. Um, they they can come off pretty easy if you if you're real rough with it. But they do have a little bit of play for your arm. So you know your ups. It's not going to be where you want it to be because this big shoulder pad. So ups are going to be very limited. But this thing contracts down and it contracts up some. So you can have a little bit of play there. I, I don't know why this tracks up like that then down. What is that for if it's not going to help me do the arm anymore? So he's just a big bulky, bulky guy just like, he, just like he is. And that's how he moves. So that arm rotates really well. It's that rotation in there. So All right. So we got that. So on that ball, ball, that ball, um, the latch there. So it latches in, latches out, but not far at all. And so we go down to the arms here in the middle, toward the forearm, comes in, actually comes in all the way, as you can see. It comes out and it actually comes in a, to the to the 90 degree. Then it comes all the way in. And I'm still seeing this this thing drop down. I don't know if that come, I think it comes off. I'm pretty sure. Let's try it, guys. Yes, so the armor on the side comes off. Okay, so now you got your, you still have bad motion. There it is. So you do have motion in the arm to come up some, but how how are you going to use that with the shoulder pad here? So I don't understand this articulation one bit at all. If you're if if you're going to use your arms and do what you need to do, that shoulder pad needs to still be on there because that's a that's a marking of this figure. I mean that's a that's just, that's just very strange to me. I don't like that. That's a ding for me. But the figure still looks very good. Okay, so we got that out the way. We got the full latch. And we know that each side is the same. 
on each side with the arms because they're both the same and they both have that same funny stuff going on with the shoulder pad. It, it, it moves. The shoulder pad moves around and it just doesn't do it. It's weird. It's very strange. Weird choice on a figure to do this. That's what I think. So let me put this on. Give me a minute. Okay. It's on there. There we go. So let's go to the intersection where his skull is and his, I guess his flashbangs, if you will. Okay. So the turns are great. I'm going to keep the shoulder pad off because it's coming off at the time. The turns are great. I mean, look at the turns. I mean, the turns are amazing. So he turns all the way, turns all the way around. He has great ups and he has great crunches. And that's, that is phenomenal for me on the figure. You know that. I love that. So that's good on that. And here in a minute, so we know the crunches are good. Here in a minute, we're going to go toward the leg, to the, to the uh, flies on the leg. And then we're going to go to the, to the knee joint and the feet. But right now, I'm going to try to put this on. Let's, let's see if I can do it, guys. Oh, I heard the snap. I must, I must have done it backwards. <laughs> let's do it again. One more try. If I don't get it, this shoulder pad is sitting. There we go. Okay, so we're good. Okay, going to the, th the thigh here. It looks like the it's on one joint for the thigh. That's it. So you're getting that old man, that old man fly. <laughs> yep. And then on the knees here, you're going to get a bend. Nice bend too. It's a, the bend is great. And then all, and then another bend, a full bend in this big suit, which is funny to me because why do I get a full bend down there, but I can't get it up in the arm, even without that shoulder pad in the way? Strange. They might want to think about that. Okay. So that's nice. So you get that up and you go all the way up. Nice. And that's going to be like that on both sides. Except, you know, one knee's blue and the other one's got the logo on it. Pretty cool. Okay. The feet do have a, 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 a latch right there. It comes down. That's very nice. And they also have, let's see, the latch right here. They got a latch. Let's see, there's a latch right here. And the latch that brings it down. And they also have the pivot in the toe. That's my people, man. I do like that. I appreciate that. And that's going to be the same on both sides, guys. Okay, on this figure, let me know what you guys think about it. Both ways, articulation, appearance. Five out of five stars. Give me your rankings and let me know so we can talk about it. So here's the box. At the very top, you got McFarlane Toys. Logo, nice. You got the ages. You got them packed away nicely. Looking good. Man, I do like this figure. You got Warhammer 4000 at the bottom. Nice. Okay, if you flip it on the side here, you got some artwork of the figure itself. McFarlane Toys, Ultramarines, Revere. I think that's, I think I'm right on that. Revere, Revere with Bolt Carbine. Nice. And then you have on the back, uh, well, on this side, he has some more artwork. I don't know who that is. But there's McFarlane toys here, and you got the Warhammer 40,000 right there. I do not know what that artwork is, but it it is pretty cool. I like that. And then on the back, you have Warhammer 4,000. That same artwork earlier. I didn't know what it was. And then you got him, the figure itself, the Marines with Bolt Carbine, whatnot. I don't know how to say that name correctly I'm, cause I've been messing it up. So I'm not, I'm just not going to kill it. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave it as Ultra Marines. That's what I got. Got some Facebook, Instagram stuff right there. And at the bottom of the box, there you go, guys. Go ahead and pause it. That's yours. And for, for, for the most part, that's the box. That's right. Amazon.com. I'm a Prime member there, and you should be a Prime member as well. Go to Amazon.com and sign up to be a Prime member, and you have access to unlimited things. What are you waiting for? Check them out and let them know I sent you. And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another toy review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.